Good morning, Patriots. I love seeing all of you. I don't care what gestures people out here are making. We're here for the right reasons. As he told you, I'm Tammy Jackson. I'm a talk show host, a writer, an editor. But today, I'm talking to you as a native Oregonian. I love my state. I love my country. I love the Constitution. I'm not going to be talking about all the minutia of the legislation going on back here because people like Casey and, of course, our good friend Kevin Sterrett at the Oregon Firearms Federation, he does a magnificent job. So I will be encouraging all of you, if you have not already, sign up for those alerts and read them, but don't just read them, act on them. I say it's, it's way past time for all good men and women to come to the aid of their country and all good or Oregonians, men and women, to come to the, the aid of Oregon. That's what we've got to do. I want to talk today, instead about all the, the minutia about the Second Amendment, I'm going to repeat some of the things Casey said, but there's some things I've learned from some of my guests on my show, including, I encourage you to read Stephen Halbrook. He is the leading authority on the Second Amendment in the nation today. He's amazing. You read his books, you learn the history of every bit of our Constitution and the Second Amendment. I also want to talk about two women who I believe are a clear and present danger to our state and our republic today. But since I'm going to talk about it, would you repeat with me again those 27 words that Casey had you repeat? A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now it's interesting, the Second Amendment begins with a clause talking about political principle and it is followed by a clause that has substantive rights for individuals. We know it's rights for individuals because the militia at the time was defined as all well-bodied men. Sorry ladies, it was the men that were in the militia. But the people was individuals, individual men and women in the Republic at the time. The intent of the founders was very clear. Governments, state and federal government, have powers, but individuals, we have rights. Another thing for us to remember, the idea of bearing arms, hello, this was the first concealed carry permit given to every single citizen by nature of it being in there, because bearing arms didn't mean holding them. It was the soldiers, the active duty militia, and the regulars who carried their muskets in their hands, but it was the citizens that carried them in their pockets, usually of their jackets, sometimes trousers. That was their concealed carry, that's what they did. They were expected to have those arms. So you can see where I'm going with this. When you get someone, a loon, like a Diane Feinstein, who says crazy things like disposable magazines, and she's not talking about Cosmopolitan, by the way. When you have people like Chucky e. Schumer, or Michael Bloomberg, all those gun grabbers, and they're trying to tell you that the Second Amendment was meant for the military. Well, sorry folks, they are flat out wrong. Another point about the Second Amendment that I think is really important for us always to keep in mind. Unlike the Fourth Amendment, and you all know that one, it prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures. It has the word unreasonable in there. The Second Amendment doesn't have any modifiers. There are no modifiers whatsoever, no adjectives, no adverbs, shall not infringe, period. Nothing should be infringed. Progressives love to change the, the meaning of everything, and I'll tell you what, our Second Amendment, for the first 200 years of our republic, everybody knew what it meant. It was so clear. They had escaped the tyranny of King George, primarily because we had firearms, we had that right, and that helped with our entire revolution. They understood what it meant, but now the progressives are changing the meaning of words. I tell you what, if I hear one more time on mainstream media, and even on Fox News, the assault weapon term, this is ridiculous. Rifles, like all our firearms, are just tools, right? Yep. However, the women I'm going to warn you about, they are both assault weapons and tools. I hope, I know that all of you know and love the Constitution and the Second Amendment, but I hope that not only are you doing what you can to defend it at every turn, I hope that you're also informing and teaching the next generations, because this is how they're going to know that freedom isn't free, that this is so vital, our Second Amendment. Now the two women that I believe are the clear, 
represent a clear and present danger to our state and our nation. First of all, the unelected Governor Kate Brown. She is doing everything she can to infringe our Second Amendment rights, and I have one thing to say about her. Let's vote her the heck out of there. Now what you should do is vote for Bud Pierce. He's a good man. He was, heck, he is a Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. And Marines are riflemen, right? We know that. He's a good man. He swore an oath to protect the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and he will do that. Now, I know it looks discouraging. Here in Oregon, the Democrats win election after election after election. But this is what we've got to do. We've got to rally all the conservatives, all the independents, all the patriots. There might even be some blue dog Democrats here in the nation, in our state. There are no fascists here. Sorry, buddy. Uh, We need to rally them all. And if we do... If we get everybody to get off their backsides and vote, send in their ballots, although I'd rather be going to vote at a precinct. I hate the mail-in ballots. I'll just say that as an aside. But if we get everybody to wake up and do that and live up to their right of voting, we could destroy and we could defeat the bullying of Lane County and Multnomah County that bullied this entire state around. So what I like to do, whenever I'm on radio, whenever I'm writing, whatever, I try to get people stirred up to action because this is a war. This is like World War II where the whole nation was involved, but this is a culture war, you guys, and I don't want the socialists to win. Are you with me? Yes! Okay, so your task at hand for the first part of this challenge is to get Bud Pierce elected and get everybody you know to vote for him. We need to get... Kate Brown, she does not deserve to be in the governor's mansion. We need to give her a pink slip. The second woman I want to warn you guys about is someone that you know I'm going to say. Hillary Rodham Clinton. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to go back to her college days when she was learning the rules for radicals from the commie anarchist Saul Alinsky. I don't need to go back to Arkansas where she and Bill were in the governor's mansion and there was corruption after corruption after corruption. But I will go back to when she was first lady of the United States with Bubba in the White House. And what was she doing? She was pushing for gun control back then. That's why we had those bans on guns. That's why the assault weapons came up. Everything. It was because of Hillary Clinton and she's farther to the left now than she was then. As a senator in New York, She partnered with old Chucky Schumer to enact more and more gun gun control laws. And as of this day, New York State has some of the most egregious gun laws in the nation. Another thing that Hillary's done, and I hope you all know this really, really well, she agreed with Australia when Australian had a gun confiscation program. They absconded, they seized one million privately held firearms and destroyed them. Hillary Clinton said that would be a good idea for the United States of America, to which we say, no! no. Hillary Clinton has said that the Supreme Court was wrong when they ruled that the Second Amendment was for we the people, individuals, men and women across this United States. And if she was elected, you know what she would do. She would nominate jurists to the Supreme Court of the United States who agreed with her, who thought that the Constitution was a living document, that it didn't mean what what it clearly said, and that hated the Second Amendment. We cannot have her in there. What else do we know about Hillary? I'm just getting going, folks. She is a liar and a crook. We know about Benghazi. Remember those 13 hours. We remember that she lied about those 13 hours. Remember the Iran deal, remember Syria, remember the Russian reset, and remember recently that she mishandled and was careless with sensitive State Department emails on her personal server. I'm telling you, she was found guilty of mishandling sensitive, secret, and top secret information. People that have done far less are serving time in prison, and what is she doing? She's running to be President of the United States. This is what I have to say about Hillary Clinton. Hillary Rodham Clinton is the domestic enemy. She should be wearing an orange jumpsuit instead of an orange pantsuit. So I'm going to tell you, 
Although he wasn't my first choice, I want you to vote for Donald Trump. Donald Trump loves America. He loves the Constitution. He loves the Second Amendment. He will be on our side. He will secure our borders. He will vet these people coming into our country. We've got to vote for him. And once again, you guys, we've got to implore everybody we know in this state to vote for him. We've got to get rid of Kate Brown. We've got to not let Hillary Clinton. We've got to implore people to never, ever, ever let her into the People's House at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. She does not deserve to be there. I tell you what, I am so excited to see you guys here. It's a cold day. It's a little bit rainy. It's drizzly, but we're patriots. We love this state, regardless of what some malcontents are saying. And our founders were such wise men. We need to listen to them. We need to summon their courage, and we t need to steal our resolve that we will not let anyone take our constitutionally guaranteed, our God-given rights. Amen. Amen. Thanks for your time. God bless you guys. God bless this nation. And Malone LaVey.